Returnal is an amazing game. I love it so much, I admit I probably spent an unhealthy amount of time watching people play it live on stream. One thing that always strikes me though, is the number of players that finish the tutorial without having learned some essential game mechanics. So I've listed three that to my mind are the most egregious things people miss in Returnal's tutorial area. Here they are. Number one. You can dash through red lasers and actually pretty much everything that's not solid. For a strange reason, the game explains to you that you can dash in mid-air after a jump and forces you to do it, but it does not very explicitly tell you that you can dash through lasers. You need to read the fine prints to find out. And let's say not everybody reads these. Security system encountered. Okay. The thing is you're not only supposed to learn that you can dash through lasers here, you are meant to understand that you can dash through everything, enemy projectiles included. Nevertheless, it ends up being ignored by a good percentage of players. Number 2. You can open gates by shooting at a nearby switch. You would not believe how many people see those gates and assume they do not have the necessary suit upgrade to open them yet. But it's hard to blame them actually. You're supposed to learn how to open gates right after you pick up your first weapon. Everyone naturally focuses on finding out how to aim and shoot. So the light you need to shoot in order to open the gate is perceived by most as a target, just to try out the gun. And the gate itself is seen as a mechanic to block you until you've done that. Number 3. You can increase your health bar with resins. If there is one concept that the tutorial should make abundantly clear, it's that resin allows you to increase your max health, but it does a poor job at that. I guess you know by now that you can increase your max integrity by collecting 3 small resins. Those are what the 3 slots on the left of the health bar are for. Fill those 3 resin slots and your max health increases. The other type of green item, the Sylphium, refills your health when you have taken damage. There are only 4 resins in the tutorial area. The first one is in the room in which you encounter your first enemies. The second is on your way, right before the red lasers. You can't miss it. But the third one is hidden away from the main path. You only see it if you look at the minimap or if you explore. The fourth one is locked behind a gate which we've established a lot of people won't open. That leaves people with two resins and that's not enough to increase your integrity. But it gets worse. You see, when you have all your health, almost all the green items in rooms will become resins. Now when you've taken damage and your health bar isn't full, the opposite happens. Resins turn into silphiums. So players taking damage during the tutorial will get Sylphium instead of Resin and completely miss the point. And trust me, almost, almost everyone gets hit. Okay, okay. Oh god! Oh shoot. Oh, that's not gonna be very fun. Oh my... Uh, oh! No? What the bullet hell? Oh no. Oh, 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 It seems weird to me that House Mark spent time explaining things like locked doors and keys or dashing away in midair, which I think are generic concepts you encounter in many games, while at the same time not making sure players understand how to increase their integrity, which is quite specific to Returnal. Now don't get me wrong, I truly think Returnal is a masterpiece in terms of user experience and interaction design. And that's probably why those design choices in the tutorial area stand out to me as they do. Anyway, I hope you liked that video. Take care.